Hey everybody, welcome back to DW's Chop Shop. What we have here today is a 1976 FLH. Another Harley Davidson, this one's a shovel head, cone nose. Um, I took this one apart and this has been a project of mine for years. It's my personal bike, or one of them. I've done a split case rebuild, replaced all your bushings, wa washers, wear parts, um, bushings, bearings, any wear parts, it's all been replaced. So essentially, this is a brand new bike that looks old. Uh, my dad found this motorcycle for me, and it was last registered in like 91. Uh, so we drug it out of the shop, I got it running, and it smoked like a sieve, right? It'd kill mosquitoes for miles. Great if that's what you wanted to do, but it was unrideable. And the reason was um, the valve guides and seals were shot. So I sent these heads off here recently. You know, this sat for three years and you'll see that in a minute. But I sent these heads off to one of, I consider the best shovel head machinist who's Leo, who owns Full Blast Engineering in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, this is 2023. I got these heads redone in 2023. Sent them the rocker boxes, everything. What you see, I sent it out and they came back and they're beautiful and I'll show them to you here in just a second. It cost me $750. Uh, I don't get discounts. He doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. That old bastard probably doesn't even use the internet. So, anyways, like I said, I had left this thing sit for a long time. So this is gonna be a whole top end, but I did wanna show you on how to take these off. So let's get into it. I did a pretty long intro, I'm sorry. Anyways, you gotta get rid of your gas tanks, anything that comes down below this rear frame. Front head, plenty of room. Lifts up, pulls out. sits down, have something to sit them on. Now, another quick trip, trick. You see uh, this right here? That's your positive battery terminal. You know what this is? This is a fucking ground. So, either take your battery off or cover that up real quick. But you grab your head and there is just enough room. You leave your rocker box on, lift up. You might have to whack it with a hammer a couple times to break your seal and it pulls right off. But now let's look at this head, right? I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? Brand new valves, new seats, new guides. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but this does it for me. Yep. Lifters or rockers. Lifters are back here, they're still. But just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, when you get to this point, chances are you're gonna have like a shitty blue garlock head gasket. Okay, those work. You might be replacing it with that. What I like to use are these Genuine James gaskets, right? There's your part number. But if you just get the Genuine James with the RTV and the fire rings. This this piece here is called a fire ring, it compresses. And if you got a higher compression motor, or even just a stock motor and you actually ride your motorcycle, these are great to have. It's gonna last a lot longer than that blue Garlock stuff. Now, that said, I did order the wrong stuff, so we're gonna try something different. And I have no idea how well it's gonna work out, but uh, what I got sent to me, I thought it was crush ring, but this is a whole ass crush gasket. So this is called, this is a multi-layered gasket, right? Which is cool, nothing wrong with that. This is what would be on modern, you know, this is what your car, your truck has on it, is a multi-layer steel gasket. So it should be interesting, because a lot of the times you need to stretch your bolts for these. This doesn't mention that, and Harley head bolts don't aren't stretched for it, so. We'll see what happens, and now let's see why this engine, which has sat with some rags over it in the corner of my garage for three years, is gonna be a whole top end. Oh, look at that. That's what happens. I did grease these, you know, but it just didn't last that long. So it is what it is. Little hindsight on my end, I could have set these at top dead center and they probably would have been just fine. Um, again, I could probably just turn this motor over a couple of times and send it with what we got. But 
the right way to do it is to get these cases off and get them up on the workbench, hone them out, and then hit them with a snap gauge set and check the bore and the roundness. And then uh, might throw them back on, might send them off. If you can see here, right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one says 030, right? And this one back here is also 030. So both of these are bored 30 thousandths over. You can go up to 60 thousandths over. Some people say you can go to 80 thousandths over. The tech manual, what I like to go by, says 60 thousandths over and you won't lose any reliability. So these cylinders have some life left in them. Not a real big deal. Um, and if we can, I'll reuse those pistons because they have eight minutes of runtime on them. So let's see, I think we can get both of these cases off. This one is low, this one is tall, but we got a lot of room right here. Um, yeah, let's see, wrenches. What do we need? We need five eighths of blue. Yours might not come off this easy. These are, well, they, they were torqued years ago, but they didn't have any runtime on them. So I'm just guessing that's helping. But this will be cool. One of my uh, videos was solid lifter adjustments. So this one has hydraulic lifters, so we get to go over that adjustment. That'll be fun. Hope you guys can count. This is something that we're gonna replace. Lock washers. They aren't necessarily wear items, but once you squeeze them down, they stay a little crushed. But we don't want that. just to keep crap off of the lifters here. Never know what kind of gasket material or whatever the hell we're gonna knock loose. And this really isn't too bad to do, whether you need to do it on a side stand or on the kick stand or on the ground. I think it's more just a habit for me to roll shit onto the lift at this point. And these bolts that we're taking off are reusable. Bolts, nuts, nuts that we're taking off are reusable. Let me show you guys a trick. Now let's say you're doing this on a bike that hasn't ran in a bazillion years, right? four man's impact and just start whacking and it'll go right that's for ones that are seized in place because somebody out there is going to have them a lot of times i would suggest doing the double wrench method the old knuckle buster which is something like that but it's really hard to get that 12 point over these. Okay, you guys want to come with me to the other side. Turns out you don't have a case. something to think about on this side here this one and this is your starter uh, solenoid right so you got 12 volts straight to the freaking battery right here make sure um, you have your rubber cover on or your battery is disconnected Do 
doing this for the tube kind of annoying because like for you this is going to be like a 15 minute total video for me i'm going to be sitting out here for an hour and a half and i can't have any music playing loud or i'll get copyrighted i don't even make any damn money off of this channel and i don't have any music I don't make money off anything motorcycle related. I buy them, I collect them, I fix them for people I like. Turns out I don't like a lot of people, so I don't fix a lot of motorcycles. You know what I'm gonna do while I'm thinking about it? Cause we're gonna have to fight these off of the pistons and off of those rings. And I bet you that the rings are going to be a little bit rusty. Let me hit that shit with some penetrating oil. Hey guys, how easy do you think these will come off? Oh. So let's start with this one. Alright. Yep, gotta break those rings loose. Ah, yeah. Now, you see where I stop right here? Where you can kind of Show you a trick. Maybe your ga base gasket is leaking, right? And you don't have a piston ring compressor. If you stop right here, you can get your pistons off without popping them all the way out, right? But that ain't what we're gonna do today. These puppies are coming out. And I can already tell we're going to have some issues. Why in the fuck was that so stretched out? All right. Let's see. This uh, just don't look good. I don't feel good. But I'm not catching anything. So we are going to hone these. We'll see what happens from there. I'm 50-50 right now on whether the hone's gonna cut it or we're gonna need to uh, send these off to old Leo. That's Leo, Full Blast Engineering in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Tell them old Marcus sent you. And then these gaskets are pretty much shot. really like these gaskets too because these are like if you look metal in the middle with the gasket material on each side and then like an RTV ring they don't leak man they are just solid good gaskets these are genuine James gaskets you can get them from JP Cycles TC Brothers you know anywhere you can order your Harley parts Yeah, 
Damn, that one's still good. I don't know. All right. Everything else looks pretty all right. Like, I know these rings are gapped. Do need to get this crud wiped off before it falls down in there. Yep. Well, I think that's about as far as we're going to get tonight. Because I uh, ordered some snap gauges so I can measure the bore on these cylinders. And that's really the next step. Can't do much until then. So, somewhere I got a tool that slides in here and blocks these and holds these things up. And it's red plastic and it's cool as shit. And it made me look like a real mechanic. But I put them somewhere. And I can't remember where that was. Somewhere I wouldn't forget them. So once I figure that out, I'll put those in. But other than that, this is it for the night. Uh, next video, we're going to be checking bore and trueness on these old girls to see if they need shipped out or not. So stay tuned.